Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-2358. Item Number, SCP-2358 Object Class, Euclid Special Containment Procedures Due to their self-censoring nature and the current limitations on moving them, SCP-2358 instances are to remain at their current locations. Global Task Force Agnonauts is to continuously monitor and disrupt civilian development of Nestics. Description SCP-2358 is an antimimetic phenomenon occurring in large population centers. The three known instances of SCP-2358 exist in the Yatse Mung District, Hong Kong, Times Square, New York, and the Shibuya District, Tokyo. SCP-2358 instances are similar in appearance to blue, translucent trees. SCP-2358 instances are effectively intangible, and cannot be perceived by individuals not under the influence of Class W or stronger mnestics. This inability to be perceived also extends to photographs and digital recordings of SCP-2358. Once a human being perceives SCP-2358, they will be subject to a series of mental effects. These effects take place in four stages. The time required for all four stages to occur can range from 13 to 120 hours. Initial Exposure Stage 1, subject displays an increase in interest in SCP-2358, and may find it difficult to concentrate on subjects and tasks not related to SCP-2358. Stage 2, subject claims to experience hallucinations of SCP-2358-like plant growth on nearby surfaces. During this time, Subjects will attempt to increase awareness of or expose other humans to SCP-2358, often expressing mild irritation when this action is rendered impossible by the antimimetic perception filter. Stage 3, subjects lose visual perception, claiming that the hallucinated growth is continually obstructing their view. Subjects may experience seizures during this stage. Stage 4, subject enters a catatonic state and demonstrates heightened levels of neurological activity. Amnestic treatment has proven effective in slowing symptoms, but have yet to halt or reverse them. Acquisition SCP-2358 was first discovered during an experimental project by the Foundation Department of Antimimetics designed to utilize chemical nestics in an attempt to locate and secure anomalies which otherwise resisted perception. The first SCP-2358 instance was located in New York during an experimental sweep of the area. Addendum Two notes have been discovered attached to each SCP-2358 instance. Content is identical between instances, and all notes seem to be affected by the same antimimetic phenomena as SCP-2358. The notes have been replicated here. All redaction present also existed in the original documents. Item Number, SCP Object Class, Keter Special Containment Procedures, Previous Procedures Irrelevant, Each SCP Instance is to be contained through the use of a Marriott Pashler Antimimetic Perception Filter. Each SCP Instance is to be placed at a location which experiences large amounts of traffic and or has a high population density. Description SCP is a set of seven mimetic vector objects. SCP instances are similar in appearance to blue, translucent trees. SCP instances are incapable of physical interaction with matter, rendering them effectively intangible. When not visually observed by a human being, SCP will begin to grow and expand rapidly. Due to its intangibility, SCP is able to grow through most barriers. SCP will usually grow in such a way as to maximize its observation by humans. Visual observation by humans has been shown to halt and reverse SCP growth. Once a human being perceives SCP, 
they will be subject to a series of mental effects. These effects take place in four stages. The time required for all four stages to occur can range from 13 to 120 hours. Initial Exposure Stage 1 Subject displays an increase in interest in SCP and may find it difficult to concentrate on subjects and tasks not related to SCP. Stage 2 Subject claims to experience hallucinations of SCP like plant growth on nearby surfaces. During this time, subjects will attempt to increase awareness of or expose other humans to SCP. Stage 3 Subjects lose visual perception, claiming that the hallucinated growth is continually obstructing their view. Subjects may experience seizures during this stage. Stage 4. Subject enters a catatonic state and demonstrates heightened levels of neurological activity. Amnestic treatment has proven effective in slowing symptoms, but have yet to halt or reverse them. Movement of SCP by humans can be achieved through data expunged, which serves to transfer the information over a distance through the use of a human medium. Acquisition SCP first manifested in the Site 13 Memetics Department, Wing 9 on slash 8 slash 19 Source unknown. Hello to whoever is reading this. The Paladin and the Pawn belong to us. Since the cognito hazard didn't activate and you are still able to read this, you either work for the Foundation or someone who is just as well equipped to carry out containment. If you're reading the original version of this document, relay what it says to your superiors as soon as possible and get some Class A amnestics in your system. The fact that you've seen the tree in person means that you're going to die soon anyway, but the amnestics should be able to buy you a few extra hours. Since you should be advanced enough to handle it, we can give you what information we have. The trees are, as close as we can figure out, a living version of information. The information is drawn in through the eyes, where it is then transferred to the brain. Let it reach the brain, and it has a new place to grow. Cut it off too soon and don't let it reach the eyes, the tree starts to get bigger. This is where the Marriott Pashler filter comes in. The filter attaches itself to a certain idea, in this case the trees. That information can still be absorbed by the senses, but the filter forces it to be automatically discarded as unneeded data before it has a chance to take root in the brain. Unfortunately, the filter can only handle so much information, that's why it's important that the trees stay in crowded areas, so they stay small. How it all works is much more complicated, but that's the overview. Feel free to have whatever expert on memetics or anti-memetics you like look this over, they should be able to confirm that the information presented correlates with the anomaly and that the containment procedures are appropriate. This is our containment procedure, this is what we had to do. Odds are that trust doesn't have a big role in your line of work, but we need to ask you to trust us this once, for your safety and ours. Don't move the trees, we know what we're doing. Godspeed. Melinda Williams. SCP Foundation Counterconceptual Division. No records of Melinda Williams or a counterconceptual division of the Foundation are known to exist. No SCP object with a four-number identifier which matched the description provided in the document existed in the Foundation database prior to the creation of document SCP-2358. Due to authenticity confirmation codes embedded in the documents and by majority vote of the O5 Council, SCP-2358's containment procedures are to take the documents into account until further information comes to light. Thank you for tuning in. We hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts, leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations.